So this new Star Trek movie has Justin Lin directing it instead of J.J. Abrams. Let's see how this movie fares up in the new rebooted Star Trek franchise and see how it goes. Star Trek Beyond, directed by Justin Lin, the man who directed the recent Fast and Furious films, and now he's directing a Star Trek movie of all things. I, didn't, I wasn't too excited about him directing a Star Trek movie because I didn't know how his directing style would translate for a Star Trek movie. But he actually does a very good job. And Simon Pegg is the man writing the script, the man who plays Scotty in the movie. That is awesome to have Simon Pegg writing the script. That's really good. So let's talk about this movie. The plot, we got this the Enterprise crew meeting up with a new villain named Crawl, played by Idris Elba. I didn't realize it was Idris Elba until they revealed it in the movie. He's like, oh wow, it's Idris Elba I'm not underneath all that makeup. That's fantastic. Idris Elba's character, Crawl is looking for an artifact aboard the Enterprise. And he wants it so he because he has some secret plan that he wants to use it for, which I don't want to spoil. I mean, he's got this fleet of starships that attack other starships like a swarm of bees or a swarm of wasps or whatever. And when you see the, the swarm of spaceships coming at the Enterprise, it looks really awesome. And it does amp up the suspense when you see this swarm attacking the Enterprise. That's very good. The crew is forced to abandon ship and land on a nearby planet. They get separated. Some of the crew gets captured by Crawl. So the remainder of the crew has to rescue those who got captured. And through part of the movie, Bones and Spock end up together and they're working their comedic chemistry off of each other, which is awesome. And we meet up with a new character named Jayla, played by Sophia Batella, who was the woman in Kingsman that had the swords for legs in, in that movie. And now she's in this movie. She's awesome in this movie. Jayla is such a fantastic character. The crew is great, as always. The characters are so well together, and the, chemi the chemistry that they have is fantastic. Kirk and Spock are really great together, and I really liked how this movie really develops Kirk's character, and how, how it shows that he has matured over the years, and, and how he's matured as becoming captain of the Enterprise, and that's really cool. I did like the chemistry between Bones and Spock, when they were together, that was great. And Chekhov and Chris Pine, Kirk, were great together in their scenes. It's very sad to hear that Anton Yeltsin is dead. I really am sad about that, that Chekhov. The char not the character, but the, the actor is dead. I don't know what the franchise is going to do now. I hear they're not going to recast the character, so I don't know how are they going to explain that the character is no longer there. Are they going to write him off or something? What are they going to do? We'll find out. But they do a very good job with honoring Anton Yeltsin, and they do a very good job with honoring the, the original cast from the 1980s and the 70s. That was very good how they honored the original cast in, in this movie. So it was just really cool with this film. I was really pleasantly surprised at how great this movie was. And especially the scene where Kirk is on a motorcycle. That was a very cool scene. And I didn't know if that was going to work well in a Star Trek movie. And it did work very well. So let's talk about the negatives. Because I didn't like everything about this movie. And the main thing I didn't like about this movie is what Justin Lin did with the music choices. I did like the Fight the Power song. That was a pretty cool song here in a, in a Star Trek movie. But the Beastie Boys song, that I didn't really totally like that much in a Star Trek movie. And Beastie Boys and Star Trek, that doesn't really totally mix very well. And this is not Guardians of the Galaxy, you know. This is Star Trek. So it didn't really flow very well with the movie. Although I did understand why they put Beastie Boys in the movie and within the context of the scene that they were using it for. But it, it's, 
did seem a, a bit out of place as far as the fact that it's Star Trek. Aside from that, this is an excellent film and I really did like it. Definitely check this movie out. I'm going to give this movie an A-. It's a really great film. Definitely go see it.